y'all. This is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen. And today I'm back with you all with a good, delicious, healthy uh, diet. It's healthy food. What I'll be making is I'll be making some fried cauliflower with chicken. And I'll be cooking just like you do fried rice, but I'm only using cauliflower. Okay, I got the cauliflower out. And I, you know, it was in a bunch and I took and separated. I just wanted to show you that it was fresh. And I grated in my little chopper. It was, it took me a while. The prepping, you know, getting this started for this uh, recipe is kind of, I mean, it's kind of lengthy, but it's not all that lengthy. You just got to do your vegetables. So I start with my cauliflower. Then I'm, uh, um, I got the bean sprout. I got the fresh frozen petite green peas. And here's the chicken I'll be using. I use thighs instead of breast because I like the way the thighs flavor. And when I went into the store, y'all, it is so hard to find some good looking meat. I went to the commissary, I went to Publix, and I went to Walmart, and I got what they had. It's, the meat looked good. They have a fold like this right here, and they don't show you the fat. They the fat be under, but you got that's what it is now these days. So I be I said the cauliflower. And this is the last thing I use. I'm just showing it because I'm at this. I'm here. This is a sweet chili sauce uh, for the, the finishing touch after you cook the uh, the cauliflower and the chicken. Now here's some olive oil. You can use any type. Pure olive oil. Here's some soy sauce, a garlic powder. I got pepper. These are green onions. This is my egg. So you know you put a little fried egg in. I'm scrambling. However you want to do them. And here's some saison uh, seasoning for my chicken. Here's some yellow onions. Here's a garlic, fresh garlic, and a green um, pepper, green bell pepper. And these are uh, fresh grated carrots. And those are all the things I'll be using. If I add anything else, I'll let you know. Okay, I'm going to move some of this out the way, and I'm going to move some of this out the way, and I'm going to get back with you. Okay, now I'm getting ready to do the chicken. You can take and cut it up before you do it, or you can, you know, cut it up after you do it. You can put it in the same, you know, the bite part that's in how you have chicken and fried rice, but they don't put that much in it, but this is going to be chicken with cauliflower and uh, the same way, but I'm going to put more chicken in mine. And the thing I'm going to season it with, I'm going to start with some garlic uh, powder. Make sure not garlic salt, because you don't, the soy sauce going to make it, uh, gonna make it uh, salty. So you don't need that much salt. I'm not, in fact, I'm not using no salt until the last minute. And I wasted a little of that Saison uh, stuff on there. So putting that on there one side and make sure I season one side good. Okay. Then I'm gonna put a little pepper on here. I'm not gonna put a little pepper. You don't know, this is optional, but I, I like pepper high season and stuff. So I'm gonna season that side of it. And then I'm gonna put this uh Saison on it. This is good for a uh, chicken when you're frying a uh, I wish I had it in a pot so I wouldn't put too much on it, but that's okay. I can always mash it in. It's not no salty stuff, so it's not going to be that bad. Put some of this in there. And you can find this in any store. It make the meat, the chicken taste good. So I'm going to mash this in. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. That's my cuckoo clock. <laughs> sorry. And it's going to do 12 o'clock. Sorry about that, y'all. So I'm going to mash this in. And... Uh, Turn it over, but turn it over. Like I said, chicken, see that fat? In, but and one thing about fat in some food, I cut most of it off. It's not, I paid quite a bit for it, but it's not no meat like it used to be. I guess it's hard times out there, y'all. And you go in the store, make, when you're looking at your chicken, make sure you turn it over, because they don't turn it over at all. They don't turn it over, so I'm going to do, do the other side the same way. The season, because you want your chicken to be seasoned good. This is going to go inside the rice, chicken fried, not rice, cauliflower. But it's going to look just like rice, so you know it's not rice. You know you're not going to get the calories from rice. So I'm fixing this up for you. Put some of that garlic powder on there. Put a little pepper. Okay. And put some of these little packets in there. So I open that one, get another one. Put some in. Next time I buy some, I'll buy some in a shaker, you know, like a salt shaker, because, you know, so, because I want to make sure. And this is going to go in some olive oil on the stove and some olive oil. That's it. And I'm going to put it in there. 
fried. You ain't gonna fry it, you know, you want the skillet hot. And when I get through frying and cooking it, so mash the season in. I want to season really good. Mash it in and uh, put it in the stove. And I'm gonna cut it up after it cook. I think that'll be a little easier. Okay. Okay, you all. I, I'm ready for this. I let my skillet get a little hot because you want it hot so I can sear it. And I use this 100% uh, pure olive oil for this chicken. You know how I seasoned it up. I showed you that. So I'm going to put some chicken. Start with the chicken. Put it in there. Cut it down some. I just want I don't want it to cook real fast. Put it in there and you just going to let it cook. It's going to be good. I don't want to move it more. Just let it cook. And when I get through cooking, I'm going to fry it. I'm going to cut it up. So I'm going to do all of that like that. All of this like that. Let it cook some. And I got a pan. I think this pan going to be... I'm going to cook everything I hope. Everything going to fit in this pan when I finish. Everything. And this chicken looks so good. I bet it's going to be good. I, like, I most people use the breast. When I'm seasoning stuff, you know, with chicken to me, uh, some people don't like dog meat. I love dog meat. I don't like white meat. I eat breast, but I prefer, uh, you know, dog pieces of chicken. And when you're cooking fried rice, I do see chicken parts in there. But I do, I do, I do see chicken parts in there. But and it be most time it's the breast. But try if you like uh, thighs, try it with thighs. Cause these are chicken thighs. Let me see how they're looking. I'm going to fry. See how pretty that look? I'm going to do the other side. I want it to cook. Because they're not going to cook that much in the cauliflower. I'm going to turn this one over. Let that cook. Do this side too. And I'm going to let it cook. So I'm going to cook all of this here. And I'm going to get back with you all. Okay, y'all. See how my, my chicken cutter, that looks so good. I taste it and season everything. Only thing you might need, this you can eat this chicken by itself, you know, with the garlic powder and the uh, saison a package. You can put that on and a little pepper. It, it is so good without the sauce, so it tastes good. And so here's the grease from the chicken. What I'm going to do when you're cooking fried rice, fried cauliflower, that's what I'm cooking. Always put the stuff in the skillet that takes the longest. So it's going to take these carrots as long as it cooks. So I'm going to put them in this skillet for all my uh, meat cooked. And here's some, if I need extra grease, this is the grease for my, from the chicken. And I'm going to put these carrots in here and let these cook. Because it takes them a long time. It doesn't matter how much you put in there. That's what you like. If I need some more, I got it. Then I'm going to put the garlic in here. Because it takes that a long time to cook. Everything going in here, but it takes something longer to cook. So I'm going to put the carrots and the garlic because it takes that longer. And after this get halfway done, have your stove kind of low and just stir it and let it cook. Like I said, if you need more grease, I'm going to use some of this olive oil from the chicken. Put a little bit more in there. Okay. And I'm going to let this go and cook. I don't want to put too much grease because I don't want no grease. And put a little bit more in there so I can cook. Okay, now while, while this cooking, I'm going to start cutting up my chicken. This is the kind of, it's easy to cut, right? I'm going to cut it like this. Instead of turning like that, it's easy like that. See how I break up, it's done. And I let, just let it cook until it got done on each side. I'm going to break it up and put it in my, uh, this going to go into the cauliflower. And it's going to go the chicken. I'm trying to put a lot of chicken in there. Make it as small as you want. Sometimes I don't want like my bite pieces to be so. Because when you go buy this stuff, you better see any of this meat in there. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to let the uh, onions and the, the garlic and the carrots cook. I'm going to cut these up in bite sized pieces. And it's so good. I can just eat this right here. Now, like I said, these are chicken breasts. I mean, uh, thighs. They better to me. Uh, putting it in uh, like rice and stuff, it tastes better. I'm going to cut this on up. Okay, and I'm going to get back with you. Now, I'm going to start with, like I said, when you add in the vegetables and everything you add, 
You add them as how long you take them. It might take them to cook. Now the garlic, I cut them a little big, but that's okay. I'm supposed to add the garlic and the carrots because I thought that took a little longer to cook. Now I'm supposed to put some bell pepper in here. Let this put some of this in here. And let this cook for a while. You know, that's how you add. Your, most people don't put these in there. Uh, I do because I like the way it tastes and the flavor is so good. Put that in there. Let this cook a little bit. You have to add some olive oil. No olive oil, but let it just cook. Cause I'm gonna put some onions in here. Let them cook. Not two scoops. I like vegetable, huh? I'm a vegetable person, so I love vegetable. Put a little bit of olive oil in here. Just a little bit more. Not much. You can only stuff it. Enough to fry it. And I'm gonna put some of these on. These are green onions. I'll put some of these onions in here. This is going to be so good, y'all. You never taste it. It's just like fried rice, but it tastes a little better than fried rice to me. Put this in there. We don't let this cook. Stir it up good. And the next thing, after these vegetables are done, I'm going to start adding the bean sprout with frozen peas. I think I add the frozen peas next to take them a little longer to cook. And I'm going to put a top on it and let it cook a little bit. Okay, I'm going to let this cook a few minutes and I'm going to clean up some of this mess. Get back with you. Okay, my vegetables cooking like I want them to cook. If I do this, now what I'm going to do is add the beans. No, I'm sorry, peas. The petite, uh, make sure there's no water in them and make sure they're small. And add the small ones. We're going to let this cook a little bit. I'm going to cover the pots when I let them cook. Put that much in them. Might have put a little too much, but it don't matter. More vegetables, there it is. So I'm going to let this cook a little bit in here. And after that, I'm going to put my bean sprout, and that'll be all my vegetables. I'm going to put a top on this and let these uh, vegetables get a little uh, softer. Put that in there. And put it in and let it cook. And I'm going to get back with you when I get ready. I'll put the bean sprout in a few minutes once this gets hot. Okay, I covered my uh, skillet. Let my peas get a little soft. Now I'm getting ready to put some bean sprout in here. Put some bean sprout in here. Put a little bit, but I ain't going to put that much because you know y'all. And when you're eating this right here, you can eat this for days. You want everything to be a little crunchy. So you don't just put a little bean sprout in. You know, you don't see very many bean sprouts when you go by that rice. Well, that's about enough. I'm going to put a top on here and let it get a little soft. Cut it down low. Stir this up. And it's like making uh, um, fried rice. So then the cauliflower. Same vegetables. Put a little bit more in here so I can see them. And I'm going to cover this and let this get a little soft. And I'll be ready to put the rice and the meat in. I mean, it's, I keep saying rice, y'all, but it looks just like it. the cau uh, cauliflower and the meat. And I'll be finishing a little soft, y'all. That'll be it. Like I said, it takes longer to get it together than anything. Okay, I'm going to cover this a little bit and get back with y'all. Okay, my vegetables are cooked and they look good enough. The next thing I'm going to put is some of this chicken in here. I'm going to put some chicken in here, so in, in here. This is old-fashioned, honey. Good. You'll never go to the store and find this like this. I'll go to a restaurant and find all this chicken in here. You just won't. <laughs> all this vegetable meat. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to let this cook just a little bit. And I'm finding this cooking, getting hot and stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going um, to season my, um, I'm going to cook my fried egg. And the, and the cauliflower and some Worcestershire sauce, that'll be it. It just tastes good. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook. I'm, I'm going to cover it back up with the top and let this cook for a while. And while it's warming up, I'm going to take and fry my scrambled eggs. And then the next thing will be my cauliflower. Okay, I'm getting ready to put the eggs. I scrambled eggs. You could have fried them or, you know, fried them or however you want to do them. I'm just going to put them in here and break them up a little bit. And add the cauliflower and I... Some soy sauce, and I'll be through it. This is a good meal. It's a good meal. Really good. And put these eggs in here, in here a little bit. Seems like I got a lot of vegetables, y'all. I do. 
and put that. You can, I could have, you know, fried them and cut them, but I just scrambled mine. And make sure to add the raw with it. And I'm gonna stir it again, and I'm just doing this now. Now for to add this cauliflower. This is the last thing you add is your cauliflower. It's right here, and let this cook some. I'm gonna put some soy sauce in. That's a big one. I'll take that one out. Mm -mm. I can save this for later on. It took a little time blending this. You know, like I said, it took a little time blending this. So I'm gonna put some soy sauce in here. There's soy sauce in here. Some pepper, probably. I don't think I need no um, salt. If I do, I'll put some in here, but I doubt it. But the soy sauce is salty. Put some of this in here. This pan was big enough. I'm gonna stir it up and see how much I need to put in here. This is good. Put some more in here. Try to get enough. Some soy sauce to make it wet enough. And it's gonna be it. Okay, that's about enough. I'll get this mess cleaned up a little bit more soy sauce in it. And get with it. Straighten it up and get it looking advertising so you can eat it. Okay then. Let's put enough and I'm gonna show you that when I add a little bit more cauliflower to it. That's about it. Put that soy sauce, that's what you call cauliflower fried, fried cauliflower with vegetable. Okay. Okay, you all, here's a finishing touch of my fried cauliflower rice. Like, I fix it like you do fried rice. And here's some sauce some people put over and it make it taste so good. It's, uh, the name of it is sweet chili sauce. And I'm going to put some of this on just a little bit to come out. I don't know how to. It's like it's stuck in here. I don't want to put too much on here because it's stuck. Okay, I'm putting some on this kind of flooring. See how good that looks on? That is so good, y'all. I like this on here. Just try this right here. The name of it is Sweet Chili Sauce. You can get any brand name, but that's what I'm going to use. This name. Okay, now, here's my, here's my presentation of my fried cauliflower rice. It's really good. I'm going to taste it. So I taste. Let me see. Mmm. It's so good with the sauce on it. Thank you all for tuning into Maddie's Kitchen. Please hit that notification bell and share it with friends and family. And uh, when you, and uh, once you hit that notification bell, when I upload another video, you'll be the first one to see it. Thank you all for tuning in Maddie's Kitchen. And I have merchandise on YouTube. Y'all help support me on that. Look at them and you know support me on that. And um, if you want to share anything with me, let me know. And thank you for tuning into Maddie's Kitchen and have a great day.